Alright, so the intro for boring will sound something like this then. Okay, something like that. Uh, lots of palm mute in there then. And uh, what we're going to be doing then is mainly picking strings 5 and 6. And we're going to start off by picking string 5, open and uh, palm muted. So this part of your hand rested up on the strings. So, okay. Yeah, then index finger onto fret 4, string 5. Then off, play it twice, open, onto fret 5 with your middle finger, and then open, so, okay, dun 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 dun, alright, uh, from there then, it's going to be index finger, onto fret 4, string 5, going to pick that once and then pull off and not palm muted this time, so, okay, alright, that's the first part. Next part, we're going to pick string six, open, palm muted, and then onto string five, fret two, palm muted, then back to string six, uh, open, palm muted twice. Okay, and then your little finger onto fret five, string five, muted, and then finally open on string six. So, all right. And this time we're going to pull off from fret 2, string 5, with our uh, index finger. So. And then that's not palm muted, okay? So basically the entire thing's palm muted, apart from the pull off, like the, the and. Okay, so again. Okay, so that's the uh, intro there for you then. So the verse then that uh, you don't need nothing and I know that you won't even try uh, that part's going to sound like this then. Okay, quite tricky as some um, heavy palm muting going on. And uh, the first shape then is index finger, lay that on fret 2 so you're covering strings 3 and 4, don't cover string 5 because we're playing that open. And um, this entire piece is going to be palm muted right up until the end. Uh, so to start off with, we're going to pick string five open twice. So okay, and then play all three strings once palm muted. So okay, dun dun dun. From there, then uh, leave your index finger where it is. All we're going to do is put our ring finger, stretch that over, and put that onto fret four, string number five, and uh, pick that twice, and then play all three strings. Okay, so so far. Okay, uh, from there then, what we're going to do is um, put your index finger up to fret 2, string number 6. Your ring finger should already be on uh, fret 4, string 5. And then just put your little finger down on fret 4, string number 3. And it's going to be the same thing, so picking the top string twice, then playing all three, so. Okay, move that power chord shape up to 5 and 7 and down a string. Okay, so, so far, yep, and then uh, what we're going to do now is your middle finger on fret 1, string number 3, your ring finger, fret 2, string 5, your little finger, fret 2, string 4, we're going to pick string number 6 open twice, and then play all four strings, so, okay, and then from there then, ring finger, fret 4, string 5, and then going to lay your index finger down, so you're covering strings 3 and 4, like this, and then pick string 5 twice, and then all 3. Okay, so, uh, you know, so far in total then. Okay, and to finish off, it's going to sound like this. So, that's picking string 6 twice, open, palm muted, and then, this is where we stop the palm muting. It's going to be your index finger, onto fret 2, string number 5, Pick that once and pull off. Okay, and then index finger onto fret 5, string 5. Ring finger, fret 7, string 4. Little finger, fret 7, string 3. Play it and then just lay your hand down to stop the note from ringing out. So, okay, so that's the verse, and I think they play that uh, part twice. So, next up, we've got the chorus the uh, no trust, all I got is lies, boring. Alright, uh, that part is going to be quite heavy, something like this then. Okay, 
Okay, something like that. So, uh, it's going to be power chords again. Starting off with your index finger on fret 5, string number 6. Ring finger, fret 7, string 5. Little finger, fret 7, string 4. Going to play this twice. Okay. Then down a string and down a fret to 4 and 6. Twice, then up a string. Twice. So, da 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 Okay, and after each strum, after I've played each one twice, uh, I just lay my hand out to stop it, so. Okay, and then from there then, um, I'm going to go to index finger, fret 5, string 5, ring finger, fret 7, string 4, little finger, fret 7, string 3, and then it's 3 times, and slide it up to 7 and 9, I'll play that 4 times. So, in total... Okay, and if you look at the tab, uh, we're going to repeat that again. Now if you look at the tab once more, it's updated for you. We're going to do that same thing again, so. Okay, and then the last part's different, it goes. And then, we're going to go, we're going to miss out this shape. and go straight up to 7 and 9. We're going to play it 5 times. And then, index finger, fret 7 string 6. Pick that and just slide down. Okay, so that last time. Okay, so that's a chorus there then. After the chorus, then it just goes back into the intro. Then it's the verse, the chorus again. And then it comes to this solo, which is uh, this thing here. Okay, so just some single notes there, then quite a catchy little riff. It's going to be, uh, to start off with, your ring finger on fret 7, string number 4, three times. And then middle finger, fret 6, string 4, three times. And then your ring finger onto fret 7, string 5, ten times, okay? So, uh, you know, in total. Okay, and then from there... Index finger onto fret 5, string 5. So that's three times. Then your uh, middle finger, fret 6, string 4. Three times. Ring finger, fret 7, string 5. Three times. Take all your fingers off and just play string uh, 5 open seven times. Okay, so from the start, nice and slow. Okay, so that's a solo. So after the solo, I've got like a bit of a break. Uh, it goes something like... Okay, so it's just two power chords and then some harmonics. So, index finger, lay that down onto fret 2. So covering strings 3 and 4, we're going to be playing string 5 open. So make sure your finger's not touching that. Downwards twice. Okay, stop the note from ringing out. And then, index finger up to fret 7. And uh, instead of putting it in between the metal, you know, you know, on the wood, we're going to actually lay it right on the metal fret, like that. So right on the metal bit, that big strip. And um, that's going to give you these kind of sounds. You know, and don't press down, just lightly rest it on. That's going to give you the harmonic, and we're just going to do that four times. Like that, okay? So it's... And just listen to the song to get the timing right, okay? So that's the break. After the break then, uh, it's just going to go to the end of the song, and that's um, very, very similar to the chorus, so it's the... Only difference is we add the final note and slide down, okay? So again, you know, it's the... So... One, two, three, one, two, three, four. The only difference is, like I say, right at the end, we're going to go index finger, fret five, string six, Ring finger, fret 7, string number 5. Little finger, fret 7, string 4. I'm going to play those uh, three notes and then just slide down. So, Okay, so that's the outro there for us then. That's the entire song for um, Boring. There's not actually many different parts to learn, but the parts that you do have to learn are a little bit tricky, like with the intro riff, 
and then like the verse the 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 dun the dun the dun the dun you know that can be really tricky at first so slow it right down until you can play it uh, you know at like say half pace or a quarter pace once you're okay with that begin to speed it up a little bit try and play along with me you know play along to the record if you've got it and uh, you know I hope you've enjoyed the lesson hope you've learned a, th uh, a few new things thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson